Hey guys, it's Evelard here, back again with the uh, live from the exotic lands of Tejas. T-Biz is walking through uh, ridiculous weather conditions. It's not ridiculous, it's like partly cloudy, partly sunny, it's windy and cold. Oh, well, regardless, I have a empty tote to fill, surprisingly. It's all empty. And um, we are going to do that with uh, several of these. Now recently I went to Toys R Us and I got a metric ton of these. Old Skylander fellas. Now this is, uh, what is it? Anchors Away Gill Grunt. In other words, Creature of the Black Lagoon going ham on some fools. It's absolutely fantastic. So without that with that being out of the way. They really don't want you to get into these, do they? Well, you know what? We'll show we'll show this box who its true evil master of the satanic arts is. I have a Gensu knife I'm cutting it open with. Not a Gensu knife, but an exacto knife. Ha ha! There we are. And then we just pull. This is not going well at all. There he is. There he is. And as usual, you pop this back. And usually, you can pop them out pretty easily. You know, unless their base is locked into the freaking plastic. You know what? This is not going well. There you go. Need to watch more Ashens. They figure out how to do this stuff in a timely manner. I got that, and you got all of his junk there. Which... That's a lot easier to pull out. That's what she said. But he's got a card. He's got a sticky ass. So you got a certificates of authenticity up in there. all authentifying your uh, use of 50 cents that's right 50 cents so all these boxes are going to be trashed by the time this video is over that only took three minutes now we got a this little fella here, the gremlin guy, riding a atomic bomb to wipe out uh, the good folks of society in this fictional universe. Maybe he will be a little bit easier to pull out of here. We shall see. We shall see. I think he's gonna be because he's got this big old. There we are. There he is. Going hog wild on that thing. And then he also comes with a sticker and a card. The cards have nothing to do with the game, but I suppose if you want to. Show your friends your collection without taking pictures of it, which would probably be the most ideal now that I think about it. These boxes are just getting thrashed. 
Like at this point, who cares? <laughs> um, I suppose if you wanted to show your friends your collection, you could just show them all the cards. Uh, then we got this lady here. Now I actually have the one with light up eyes, but me being the completionist boob I am, had to buy the regular version. That could have been tragic. And I think she's going to be a little bit easier to pop out. That was probably the easiest one to pop out so far. Yep. <laughs> Comes with a card and a sticker like everyone else. So we're only halfway into the unboxing video. It's totally not an unboxing video. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to make it quick so I can just freaking get it over with. These actually do get a decent amount of um, views on my channel for whatever reason. Although this stuff's old, so it might not. But oh well. Uh, and then we got Riptide here. This is Starstrike, because I didn't mention her name. And this is, uh, what is it, Big Bang Trigger Happy? Just doesn't sound right to me. But, uh... Looks like he's the same way. You gotta slice the tape on the bottom. Then all you gotta do is push this piece back and then you should be able to lift them out. Yeah, this could be uh, much easier, but there he is. I always like the look of this dude. He looks like a pirate. He's got a swordfish for a sword. How metal can you get? <laughs> I'll put the two water guys over there. And then he, of course, comes with the non-denominational card and sticker that all the other ones come with. Which is nice. Stupid label. Get back on there. It's all my pseudo professionalism of an unboxing video. And then we got a couple of these light up fellas. This is Bumble Blast. Not to be confused with bubble bath. I actually didn't have to bust out the exacto knife for him. Which is ironic. So you had to do it for everyone else. Pop this back. He came out pretty easy. He looks cool. I have the normal version of this guy, but I didn't have this one yet, so I decided to pick him up. And there's his card and his sticker. Um, I think the original version of this guy came with like a variant of Terrafin or something or that. Something or rather. It's been a while since I've played, but when they're this cheap, it's kind of hard to pass them up. And the last one we got for this video, we got a Light Core Hex. And I assume the skull and maybe your eyes light up. We shall see. Looks like I just have to straight up destroy this package. Okay. Oh, her label didn't come out with her. Now oh, she was the easiest one to pull out. I know. I think her dress might light up too. That'd be interesting. Yeah, she's all. Oh. There she is. I just like the uh, light up ones. Added something to the figures. Her sticker was upside down. It's a rare variant. <laughs> uh, there you go. 
And that's all of them. We did it in 10 minutes. It's quite, quite fantastic, I must say. <laughs> For uh, me, anyways. I don't know about you, but I used to take 10 minutes to open up one of these. So, uh, let's uh, move the camera back. <laughs> Adjust my mic a little bit. And we will sheathe the Ginsu knife. The exacto knife in this case. We'll take a close up look at all of them quick. This is Riptide. Good look at him. He's pretty neat. I like him. This is one I wanted to get when the game first came out, but I never did. Here we got a uh, Kill Grunt. Anchors away, go grunt, excuse me. It's a special variation. I got the, what is it, Harpoon Gil Grunt, I think. From uh, Giants. I don't know if he was in Trap Team or not. Here is uh, Big Bang Trigger Happy. I can only assume he rides that thing in the game. That'd be pretty hilarious. There he is. Then we got... Uh, yeah, we'll look at this one first. The Star Strike. Basically a Lady Ring Wraith with uh, the Japanese Blade fans there. It's pretty gnarly. Uh, we got Bumble Blast, the Light Gore version. I like this one's pose a little more than the other one. He's like, yeah! <laughs> kind of like Gilgrunt. He's very happy to be destroying... Dozens of lives. <laughs> and then we have a uh, Hex, who's a straight up evil sorceress with a very maleficenty looking hair. But uh, that's that's essentially all that I have today, at least for this video. So yeah, I'd say I like all these quite a bit, um, especially for three bucks plus some change for tax not too shabby hit up your toys r us these things are uh, on sale like a mofo so uh yeah go get them and uh, until next time i'll catch you guys later